Hi, it's Rick with Phoneware. I'm going to show you how to uh, unbox and assemble and set up uh, a Yealink voice over IP phone on the Phoneware cloud-based telecom network. This particular phone is a uh, Yealink model SIP T53, but these instructions will also apply to uh, other model phones as well. So first of all, let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we've got in here. So we've, we first got the phone itself. And uh, we'll take that out of its uh, protection, uh, protective wrapper there. Also, the phone has a uh, screen protector right here that you might want to take off as well. So there's the phone itself. And uh, next we have the manufacturer's user guide. And uh, that basically just shows how to assemble the phone. It doesn't really have usage instructions in it. You should have also received, uh, maybe in the box, or it may have been sent or emailed to you separately, a phoneware uh, quick, reference, quick reference manual looks something like that uh, or if it's folded uh, basically looks like that and it's just a double-sided kind of brochure format for uh, all the instructions on how to use uh, that phone on the uh, phoneware network. Okay let's see what else is in here so we're going to uh, look in the bottom and in here we have a patch cord uh, so just a regular Ethernet patch cord. I'm not going to use that right now because I have my own cord here that I'm going to show you how to hook up. So I will set that aside. Uh, you also may have a power supply uh, provided in the box. You know, just a little uh, uh, AC power adapter like that. Uh, but if you have power over Ethernet, which I do here, uh, you're not going to need to use that. But I'll show you where that plugs in if you need to plug it into uh, to local power. Okay? But I'm not going to be using the power adapter. And then we have the uh, phone handset right here. And we have the phone uh, handset cord right there. So let's go ahead and remove that. Easier said than done. Sometimes they want to hang up on the little clip here at the end. Come on. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the phone handset cord. Set that wrapper aside. And then last, we have the uh, phone uh, stand. It just is what use, what's used to keep the phone tilted upright. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and set the box aside and now show you how uh, we put all this together. So basically, let's first put the uh, handset cord in. Now, the handset cord has got uh, a long end and a short end. Okay? The short end is going to plug into the handset itself right here, like so. And the long end is going to plug into uh, this. On the back of the phone, there's a picture of a handset. There's a picture of a headset. Don't use that one. Use this one here, the picture of a handset. So plug that in. And then there are these channels that you can just uh, basically kind of uh, stick the cord in so that it stays snug in there. Okay? So that's it for the, uh, for the stand. I'm sorry, for the uh, handset cord. Now I've got the stand here. That goes on real easily. You basically just uh, kind of lock that in like that. And now the phone is basically uh, assembled pretty easy. Okay. Now I want to show you how to, uh, how to hook that up. On the bottom of the phone, there are two uh, Ethernet connections. One of them is labeled Internet. That's the one we're going to plug into our network connection. And the other one is labeled PC. If, if I only have one network connection that I need to uh, share between a PC and uh, the phone, I'll go from the uh, data connection in the wall and plug into the Internet. And then I'll go from the PC and plug that into my computer so that they can both share that same connection. I don't need to share a connection here, so uh, I'm not going to be using the PC connection. I'll just be using the internet connection. And again, if you do need to use the power adapter, that plugs in right here. So I'm going to take my, uh, my patch cord here, which has got uh, power over ethernet, PoE, and I'm going to plug that in right here, and then my phone will power up. So we'll go ahead and set this here. And uh, when the phone first powers up, it's going to go through a few uh, check-in uh, processes. Let me see if I can show this a little bit better. It's not showing up on the camera very well. It basically just says, welcome, initializing, please wait. So the phone is going to go through uh, an initialization process here. And um, 
right now it is uh, it's saying network unavailable, but it's going to learn my network. There it is. It says obtaining IP address. Once it gets an IP address, it's going to go out and contact the um, provisioning server. So it's doing that right now, uh, updating its configuration. And now the phone is rebooting. And once it's contacted the uh, uh, configuration server, the phone may reboot a couple of times. It may also do a firmware update if, uh, if we have uh, new firmware uh, to deliver to the phone as part of the uh, setup process here. So now the phone is booting again. It's going to go through the uh, network discovery uh, phase again and um, reconnect to the internet again. And, you know, when you receive one of these phones, it should already all uh, be set up on our network. Uh, we basically take the phone's MAC address, which is right here, and we enter that in before we send you the phone so that uh, your phone is all ready to, uh, to work on our network once, uh, once it uh, you know, checks in and boots up completely. Okay, now this phone is doing a firmware update. So the firmware update is going to take a couple of minutes, uh, but when that's done, see it says firmware updating, do not power off. So it's downloading the new firmware, and again, you may not be able to see that on your screen. The, uh, the, bright, um, the bright screen here is just not uh, focusing properly on this camera. Um, but anyway, so it's, uh, the phone is now downloading its firmware, and once that uh, firmware downloads, then um, there will, uh, the phone will reboot one more time, and we should be uh, live and uh, operational. So while we're waiting for that, um, this is the, uh, the uh, T53 model. This phone does not have built-in uh, Wi-Fi. Now you can add a Wi-Fi adapter right here. We call it a dongle, a Wi-Fi dongle. There's a USB port right here on the back of the phone. And so if you have a Wi-Fi dongle, you can plug that in and make this phone uh, you know, Wi-Fi um, capable. And then if that's the case, there would be a, a step that you would have needed to have uh, followed first to put this phone, uh, connect it to your Wi-Fi at your location, and then it would go through this, uh, through this process. And I'll do another video of unboxing a uh, Wi-Fi phone and setting that up so that uh, you can see what, uh, what that process looks like on the, um, you know, setting up Wi-Fi. So, um, and again, if you needed Wi-Fi on the T53 phone, which does not have Wi-Fi, uh, the T53W has Wi-Fi, but if you need Wi-Fi on it, we can uh, provide you with a dongle to plug in right here, and uh, that, will, um, you know, that will enable this phone with Wi-Fi. Now, uh, well, again, while we're waiting here, uh, you've also got a tilt screen, so you can adjust that you know, for the best viewing angle, however you want. And now the phone is rebooting one last time. And uh, we're going to now, after this reboot, the phone should be 100% uh, operational. Uh, fingers crossed. We call this plug and pray. Uh, ha ha. But uh, we'll see if this, uh, if this was successful and this phone boots up. It should. And then we should be able to uh, make and receive calls and be operational. Okay, so the phone is uh, connecting to the network again. I can see that it's got some of the configuration because my button programming is here, okay? So we can see that we've got uh, you know, some uh, good results already. And here we are. So this phone is now live. It's on my extension, 222. My phone happens to be in Do Not Disturb right now. Got my call buttons, pick up buttons, park buttons, etc. cetera. And uh, if I go and make a call now, here, I'll put it down on the desk. We should be live. And we are golden. Your phone number is... Okay. So uh, this was a brand new phone out of the box that uh, I set up and uh, checked into our servers and configured itself. And now it's ready to use. That's it. Thanks for watching.